Well, it's time to talk puzzles again. After about a month of leaving my Educa 6000 piece puzzle entering the bedroom on my puzzle table, decided it's time to get it off of here. When I finished it, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I've made the decision now that I do want to glue and mount it and I'm going to put it up on the wall right here. Back up, you can get a better look here. This space right here on this wall, it will fit quite nicely. So, what have I done to this point? Well, I bought glue and I decided that I wanted to make sure I had enough glue. So I bought a thing of Mod Podge. Mod Podge. It uh, was actually quite reasonable to buy it in a large quantity, so I did, because I think I will glue more puzzles, but that'll certainly be enough to do this one. So to try it out, I had this puzzle here. Just stand it up there. This puzzle here, which was missing a piece. So I thought I would glue that, see how it looked, and if, whether I liked it or not, because... I really didn't care what happened to this puzzle because it's going to end up in the garbage anyway. But it actually is going together well. And the finish is a bit of a gloss finish, but not bad. But it really turned out well. So happy I got the glue. So now what I want to do is I want to actually glue this onto a board and glue the face of it, then mount it on the wall. Um... I have an idea how to do that, and I will share that with you as I get further along, but I'm just not ready to do it now, and I want to get my table cleaned off. So, I have measured the box here, and figured that I can put in sections of 17 inches by 12 inches. So, I've started to take it apart here. So, I intend to take it all apart into sections of 17 by 12, layer them, and put them back in this box until such time as I'm ready to mount it. So I started taking this apart into sections so that I could put it back into the box and reassemble it later to gluing. After taking apart these sections, I attempted to lift this one, which was a small one. I can lift it, but not very easy. It doesn't hold together like a Raven's burger. So, even to turn it over, I'm risk to put tape on the back, I'm risking having it fall apart, and thus making it a lot more work. I started to take apart more sections over here, then I realized this is a lot of work. It's already assembled, it's on the table. So I'm gonna put it back together again, and I think we're gonna glue it right now. Okay, had to puzzle all back together again. That was just about as hard as taking it apart. I don't think I'll attempt that one anymore. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken sheets of just unlined, have a whole ream of legal sized paper, which I don't really use. So I just took a whole pile of sheets and you may cannot, probably cannot see it that well, but I've slipped them underneath the edge all the way around so that I don't get any glue on my puzzle table. So now the next step is I have my glue here, my large thing of Mod Podge I bought. I have a little container, I've got a putty knife to spread it and a brush to just tidy up the areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the camera up, try to set it up so it doesn't get in my way and then we'll uh, see what we can show you putting glue on the puzzle.
Okay, the glue's all dry. A quick look at it. You see it has a little bit of sheen. It's not too much. Actually, not much more than what was on the puzzle originally. There's a bit, but I think it'll be just fine. I'm okay with that. And all the paper I put underneath the edges, I've managed to clean all that off. There's a bit here where there's a bit in a few places. I'll trim that up with a knife, but don't really want to do it on my table here. I don't want to damage that. So let's say here's another spot, a bit of paper there. That should clean off without too much trouble, but am I able to move it and pick it up? Yes. So we're, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it onto a piece of cardboard. I'm going to stand it up so you can get an idea what it looks like. Then we just need to store it somewhere until such time as we're ready to finish the uh, mounting it on the wall. Okay, so I got it off the table. I've got it on a large piece of cardboard. It's standing very vertical, almost completely vertical. Um, I don't want to move it around too much. I don't want to sort of crease it or bend it as I had. intend to glue it to plywood and then mounted in some form on a wall right up there beside the TV. So I'm going to probably store it somewhere laying flat on this cardboard until I can get to the remainder of it. Okay, now it's time to actually mount the puzzle, my Educa 6000 entering the bedroom. I have here a piece of plywood. It's a, not a sanded plywood, but a, uh, what we'd consider an exterior grade here or construction grade. Um, I've sanded it to smooth it out. So it's actually quite smooth. There was a couple of knot holes there, which I filled. So now it's nice and smooth. So what I need to do now, this is, it's been cut to size. So it's the same size of the puzzle. But what I need to do now is to put cleats on the back so that I'm able to attach it to the wall. I have a couple of pieces here and these are, they're, I've heard them called a French cleat, but this is what I will use. And you have two pieces that are angled, as you see like this. They're cut from the same piece. One goes like that. And so basically what happens is, this piece here would attach to the back of the plywood, and then this piece attached to the wall, so that when the, it is dropped down, it not only holds it in place, it pulls it tight to the wall, which should take out some of the bowing which we have in this plywood. So I'm going to actually fasten three cleats across the back of this sheet of plywood, and then I will fasten the other three pieces to the wall in my basement and then that way it will sit flush on the wall but because the plywood is thinner than the cleats I need to screw through the plywood into the cleats so I need to make sure I put them on before I glue the puzzle on so that's what I'm going to work on right now okay got my three cleats on the back Pardon the chalk lines there. Originally I thought I would do two, but then when I looked at just how much of a bow is in the piece of plywood, I realized three would be better. So ignore those lines. So I've put three cleats on. You can see one, two, and three. Now what happens in the house is I have this one here, number one wall, which matches up to that there. This will get fastened on the wall with the bevel facing out. And as you can see, what will happen is it fastens to the wall and then drops on like a place like that. So with all three of those, they're put on properly. They should all just snap in there like that. And with them being tight to the wall, all three, that should then take this bow out of here quite easily and pull the whole thing flush to the wall. So now, what we need to do now is we need to glue this up and because the screws for those all came through the front side, that was done because the cleat is 
thicker than the plywood and gives it, makes it stronger. Always screw from the thin piece into the thicker one is the, the rule of thumb. So with that being done now, what we need to do is clean it up a little bit, glue it, and set the puzzle on top and let it dry. So we'll start that. Okay, the board is all glued. The puzzle is here. Got my helpers. So now we're going to take the puzzle and glue it, lay it on here. Okay. Where do we come in? Poop. Poop. <laughs> My husband really crazy? Oh yes, he really crazy. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now I do. Well, get Noi to hold the other side. Uh. Okay. Mm. Okay, Noi's got around it. Yeah, like that. Put on top here. You're catching that on the film. Okay, just lay it down gently. Okay, now I have to move it. Okay. Now here, move here. Go to that corner, Noi. Noi, move that so it. Yeah, oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, that's it. Right like that. Is it right or not? I'm going to cut it. Yeah, I think that that's okay there. Okay, don't worry about that side. Long is this side good? Uh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Pull Noi. Come over here. Pull out. Pull out gently. Okay. No, you make sure that doesn't move here. You make sure that's a little thing like that. Oh, oh not right. No, that's okay. That's all right. It's I need to move up a little bit. Move up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. I think I think this is a better side here. Yeah. Here, line up on the bottom. Do this side, okay? This side better. Yeah, this is okay. Do this side better. I'm putting a frame around it, so if it's a little bit out, it's okay. Mm. That's okay now, Noi. Okay, pull the next stick out. What me do? Yeah. At the side. Yeah. Pull. For, push, Noi. Push. Yeah. That's it. That's okay. Oh. Cool. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, pull the last one out. Just pull. Ding, mm. Yeah, just pull. Yeah, that's okay. It's going to get a frame around it, so it's okay. Did it come up a little bit? That's okay, but I'm, I'm going to put a frame around it, so it's oh. okay. Okay, now what we need to make sure it's all glued. Mm -hmm. Now we need to. Make sure no glue sticking out anywhere. Mm, okay, now we no. need to turn it over and now put it what? on top of there. What? That we need to take this. This? Yep, turn it over so the picture is down. Oh, but be inside for now. Be inside. Oh, no, 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 no. There. There okay, the puzzle is upside down, obviously, uh, with extra patio stones I have laying around to uh, put lots of weight on it, and especially around the edges and through the middle. So that should give me the pressure I'm looking for to ensure that the puzzle glues to the piece of plywood. So now we're going to have to leave that there uh, at least a few hours if not overnight. We'll see. 
probably later this afternoon we can uh, lift it up and see how it looks but I think for now we'll leave that let that dry glues dry on the puzzle took the weights off flipped it over glued nicely to the board looking at it, I looked a little more carefully I don't see any sort of lumps or bumps anywhere so I think we're looking pretty good and now time to start working on the frame so here's my pieces for my frame these are standard construction 2x4s used here in Canada they three and a half by one and a half inches I kind of picked some that are in pretty good shape but they're, uh, got a little bit on them so we'll work on uh, cleaning them up you can look at them I've even got a few screw holes in them but I think by the time I'm done you won't really notice them this piece here is just my test piece so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut these in half down this way down the middle rip them to get and then that should give me my four sides for my frame okay there are the pieces cut for the frame now they're a little bit rough so i'm going to run take them and run over to a friend's place and run them through a planer to clean them up a little bit and then we'll uh figure out how we're gonna put a groove in them so they'll fit around the puzzle so so now i've got the groove cut in my uh frame pieces or a rabbit as we'd call it and now this is done so that it should fit right over the edge of this puzzle so what i'm going to do is just take and put one on so you can see what a, how it's going to work so now there you go as you can see it fits in like so I'll try the other side with less light shining through but if you look here you can see here where this is it goes into the groove and because the sheet of plywood was not exactly the same as the puzzle because I didn't have a good table saw for that this will allow me to square everything up and hide any uneven edges like this so all four of these are done so they will all fit on so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off and I'm going to router around on this edge and this edge to finish it off a little better. So I will do that, get them all sanded up. Then we will see what it looks like again. Okay, got the edges rounded, the front two edges. Uh, a little bit rough, need a little bit of sanding, so now I'll take a sander to them and then we'll, uh, okay, got the pieces all sanded and cleaned up. You may notice there's the odd little imperfection in there. That's because these are construction 2x4s and they were free, so, well, already paid for them when I built the house, so. It's, uh, to me, it adds to the look. So now we've got them all sanded, clean the best we can. I have a can here of a clear finish, a Verathane finish. This is the same finish I used on the legs when I built my puzzle table. So now we'll give them a couple coats to shiny them up a little bit and make them look like beautiful pieces of wood again. And then we'll uh, put them on the, on the puzzle. Okay, finished, putting a finish on my frame pieces. Put four coats of a clear varathane on, satin finish, and they're nice and smooth. So now, got to miter them and put them around the puzzle. Okay, while the uh, frames were drying, I came down here to my puzzle room and I mounted my three cleats on the wall for the puzzle to hang on. So, now it's got to finish that, and if everything's done properly, this should just drop right onto those cleats and look perfect. So, let's go frame the puzzle.
there it is. It's done. Got the frame around it. My miters aren't quite as nice as I'd like, but uh, that miter saw is not the best. But anyway, it does the job. So there, that's what she looks like. So now we're going to carry it downstairs. If I go see if I got my cleats in the right place, and if we do, it should only take a couple minutes, and then it'll be up on the wall. There you go. Okay. Cap nui. Very good. Go down. We we'll go around outside. Hello. Let's put the door look. Fast. Let's go. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no! Go around outside. Huh? Easier. Too long, man. Long, man. Cũng nhạc lắm, khoảng liền đếch nôi Super Crazy Super crazy Yeah You need to go first. You need to care for the ride for the power? Don't worry, I did everything perfect. Okay. Good. Have something that uh -oh. hang? It's, it's that's where those boards are. Up more? Up. I couldn't open it. I got it. I got it. Uh, let me lock my No. No. Gotta go your way a bit. Your way? Yeah. Like that? I think no. Yeah. Yeah. Inside go on or no? Yeah. 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 What do you think? How does it look? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It looks nice. What? Okay, Noi? Okay. Yeah. Where? She's done. Entering the bedroom, 6,000 pieces. Edge of puzzle, frame and on the wall. So there you have my 6,000 piece Edgica entering the bedroom puzzle. All glued nicely on the face, glued to a board, framed, and up on the wall in my giant puzzle room. As you can see, it actually turned out quite nicely with the frame around it. It gives it a nice look, a nice finish, and just kind of finishes everything off nicely. I'm very pleased with it. It fit very well on this wall in between my TV and the corner here. So uh, if you like this video, give me a like. Uh, if you want any information or anything on how I did this, feel free to comment or to ask and I will uh, send you anything I've got. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. And with that, we'll leave it there and catch you in the next video.